Yes guys, welcome back guys to my channel. So my name is Andrew and welcome back to Andrew's training channel. So one of the other reasons why people are losing in Forex big time is because people are over trading. Yes, people are over trading. So on this video, I'm going to quickly, you know, share you what you should understand, why you should never over trade and what the hell is over trading. Over trading guys is simply when you trade too much, you place too many positions or you invest too large lot sizes in your positions, meaning that you can, you know, you can blow your account up. So let's discuss this and let's fix this once and for all right here, right now. So guys, do not place too many trades in any one day, okay? So uh, and one of the biggest things is that guys, please, you know, uh, don't uh, take, you should take a break after every loss. So if you made a loss, one loss, you should take a break and you should walk away. You should never fight back from your loss, okay? Uh, and the other thing, okay, uh, take a break after a big loss and do not place more, you know, many, too many trades. How many trades? What is your trading strategy? Ask yourself this. What is your trading strategy? How many trades are you placing per day? If you are completely new to the trading, okay, and you want to be success, you want to be consistent in your trading, and you really want to generate profits for a long run, what you should be, you know, what's the biggest secret? I will tell you. The biggest secret in that position would be start placing only one trade per day. Start placing one trade per day, and you can and and, and, st and you should start seeing some you know some results. And again, this is test this can be tested, guys. Okay, you know uh, I know you know I have my, my own academy, and I, there are so many students students from all around the globe. This guy's big one, okay, and the, I was able to fix so many newbie students, and some of the newbie students in my academy also are you know mature students or older people, but once they start to do this, place one trade a day do full analysis, full technical analysis, fundamental analysis for one trade a day. This will allow you to focus fully your, you know, your mindset will be able to focus fully on one trade. You're going to give your heart and soul for that trade one trade a day. And you're going to start seeing some results. You will start to learn. You will start to be able to understand was this bad trade or was this a good trade? If it was a bad trade, then why you should be also you should be able to start asking these questions, and you will be able to start you know um, being better for your tomorrow's next one trade because you know that you're not gonna be overwhelmed because of too many trades you know because you will only have one trade that you're gonna look in, look in a market and you're gonna look in a market for that one trade. You're gonna look for that one opportunity to present themselves to you you know. And this is going to be much easier, guys, for you to understand and learn trading if you really stick to this one simple rule. Next one, a very important one, do not trade all day. Hell no. <laughs> all day? Imagine if you trade all day, you know, by, by, this, by the third, fourth hour, your brain will be, you know, completely overwhelmed and you will not be able to uh, focus on a chart accurately, you know because nobody can focus on a screen for, for a long period of time because in trading you need to be extremely specific about your entries, exits, about your peep value, everything. Guys, do not trade. If you trade all day, then, well, this is one of the big reasons why you are losing, if, you know. Uh, if, you are, if you are a successful trader and you trade all day, I would really be interested to hear from you, okay? But that's not the case, okay? So some of you may be wondering, what the hell, Andrew, you're talking about? How can I, you know, not trade all day? If trading is so hard, so complicated, you know, I need to put my all focus on, I need to put all my heart and soul, and I need to spend all day trading. Hell no, guys. If this is your mindset, this means you need to change that. And how do you do it? You do it really simple, guys. Uh, only look at specific setups. So you know you have trading strategy, some sort of trading strategy. But this stage you should have some sort of trading strategy. So for example, uh, I know for example if I have a trading strategy that I will only focus on uh, major forex currency pairs, Euro USD, USD JPY, C, uh, USD CHF, and I will only look at uh, RSI or MACD crossovers, or I will only look at the setup today when the trades will reach or resistance. 
I will only trade when that uh, forex currency pair will reach my daily resistance. Okay, that's it. See that I have a solid daily plan. I have solid daily plan in one sentence of what I'm going to do and how I'm going to generate profits. Okay, how I will go and look for those trading opportunities, you know, and how I will find them. I will find them this way. I will look for those three currency pairs: Euro USD, USD JPY, USD CHF. Just for example. And I will only look when any of those three will reach my uh, resistance or support on a daily chart, right? Here we go. Now we have training setup. It's solid setup, okay? Really solid setup because if you look at something for the daily chart, uh, and this is just an example, okay? You don't need to look at a daily chart. You should also look at the uh, four hour chart, okay? You should see it, say yourself, okay, I will only trade, I will only place next trade whenever Euro USD. Euro USD is gonna reach four hour support or four hour resistance area. I will only place my trade based on that. Here we see now I have solid, uh, you know, uh, structure in place, solid setup, and I will only be focusing, for example, on that setup. But you need to always remember that if you have this rule in place, follow that rule. But so, second, last, so very important only trade when you see opportunity. Don't trade because you want to trade. I mean, I actually feel kind of stupid right here, sitting in front of the camera, to actually say something like this, okay? I mean, it's a common sense, right? You should not, we don't trade because we want to trade. We trade because of one reason, generate wealth, right? So uh, we need to understand that we will be only able to generate that wealth if we trade uh, when we see the opportunity for the trade, right? We don't trade when we just see some price movements, okay? And we just see something really, really interesting. Like if I, my favorite pair is a, is, is a AUD USD and I only trade that and I only place call trade because I like that. We don't trade because we like something, okay? There's nothing about like here, okay? So, so <laughs> because I had some people asking me these sort of questions and it's really, really weird that some people are trading and then people are surprised that they are losing you know as uh, losing money or blowing their accounts up because they are only they are trading at specific time and you know some people are trading at specific time for example from two o'clock to, uh, to seven o'clock you know uh, sorry from two o'clock to for example four o'clock and every time and every day you know when people look at uh, when start trading at two o'clock there's no you know and they're trying to find the trade you know they're trying to find the opportunity but even there is no opportunity they will think that there is the opportunity there is you know there is a great great trade which is building up no guys because you know you should always remember guys you should follow your trading rule if you don't follow your trading rule uh, you know uh, and you see your opportunity means that something is wrong and then make sure you're not over trading that you're not trading all day and all of these guys is going to be you know dragged into one in, 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 into one thing and one thing and this one thing is limit yourself So what the hell and don't limit yourself guys limit yourself to one let's say to one trading setup you know uh and one currency pair you know uh and, and for long term and you can see so limit yourself to uh, less trades less setups you know um, um, more follow your rules never break your rules you know because you know all of these guys when you when it comes to over trading it's not it's not gonna only blow your account up you will lose money you will lose uh encouragement you will be discouraged you will not like to trade anymore you will not like to uh, tr you will not like to do something that you are that, that you dreamed of for example to be a full-time trader okay because i have so many people who are dreaming to become full-time traders but they are not realizing that they you know uh, these simple things you know and people are blowing their blowing their accounts are after accounts up, up and again and again because people are placing too many trades People are seeing too many opportunities being, being presented to themselves. But that's not the case, guys, you know. If you are a structured trader and if you do have a solid tested strategy in place, you will have very little opportunities every single day. Well, yes, sometimes markets are volatile, but the market volatility does not determine uh, the opportunities, okay? Uh, so because we are here to follow our structure because we want to be successful traders for long term. We don't want to be winner today. We don't want to win today and lose tomorrow or other way around. We want to win and lose, okay? You have to accept losses. 
every single day. But we want to win at least. My goal is 85% 85% uh, winning ratio, okay? Then 85, 86, 87 percent. Uh, so that, that, that that's my goal, you know. I want to be correct in every single of my trades. When you take all my trades together, at least 85, 86, 87 percent of the time, I want to be right, okay? If I if I fall below that ratio, means I do I did something wrong. What I do? I do this. I do this. I take my I take my notepad where I have all my trades written, okay? Written manually, written by my Sw what is this Swarovski pen, okay? Because when I write manually, I remember, and when I remember, I know how to fix those mistakes. I think I hope it makes sense, guys, okay? So let's cut it at this, guys. If you guys really need some help in trading, you know where to reach me. Email me at incommentorbox at gmail.com. Please trade safely, trade responsibly, enjoy your profits. And always remember, there is no magic in trading. Everybody is the same. Me, every, we are all the same, okay? It's just about appropriate education and appropriate practice. Every single, the biggest investors in the world, what, what, what told you, well, the biggest investors in the world were always telling us and always teaching us since, since ever that the best investment is uh, that you invest in yourself. And how can you invest in yourself? Is by educating yourself, right? So make sure guys to subscribe to my channel because I really want to share, you know, my knowledge and my practices that actually matters, that actually works. So thank you guys and see you again next time. Bye.